He's a 55-year-old dad from Bowie, Maryland. Also, today is his birthday. Please look at the stage, Crazy D. Well, you know, today, um, my daughter just happened to try to surprise me by saying, Hey, Dad, you know what? I'm signing you up for some comedy so you can get three hours. You know what? There's no time to turn around and rehearse or write your stuff out. So we're going to go from here, all right? <laughs> <laughs> now, me, myself, I believe in this um, mirror parenting. You know, basically, if I wear my clothes down, you wear your clothes down. If you wear your clothes down to embarrass me, then I'm going to embarrass you by wearing mine up. So uh, what I do with my daughter when she's wearing something that I don't approve of, I come in like this with a friend. <laughs> My mother was old school. My mom was like, you know what? I would knock you into the middle of next week. You know, shut your mouth. <laughs> yeah, right. Damn. And all I know, it was a month later. <laughs> and we got the progress report. My mother said, what did you do to Simon? I said, Mom, remember when you told me that you knocked me in the middle of next week? That's what happened. <laughs> I got grandkids, and you know what, they, they said some of the sweetest and nicest things. I, I was asking my granddaughter, I said, you know, um, I said, babe, what you want to be when you grow up? She looked at me like I was stupid and said, an adult. <laughs> <laughs> I was also in the Marine Corps, and basically they told us when you get in there, say, hey, look, don't volunteer for anything. And they got a situation where they call it taking you outside and brushing you. Basically, when you take, go outside and they put you in the, in the thorns and push you up and make you do sit-ups and stuff. So one day they just asked, you know, who wants to call home? And why I threw my hand up in the air? They grabbed everybody, sent us outside, thrust us, brought us back in, said, open the window. Open the window up, said, call home. Oh! <laughs> I got one grandson, and basically he turns around and he has these little pampers with the dinosaurs on. So he outside playing, and he forget all about it, and he looked down and the dinosaur was gone. I said, oh my, dinosaur's gone. <laughs> so my dinosaur gone. So he went in the house, got a pamper, and started working on putting it back up, you know? So he finally got it all back on there and said, okay, I'm good. Now my daughter, which is the one who invited me tonight, right? I knew off the back that it was something strange about her because she's the only one that came out talking. So when she was born, she came out to the canal like this here. <laughs> I sat on the end of the stern, looked at me and said, you my daddy? <laughs> so I looked at her because she had a little big head, right? <laughs> and the tears started coming out of my eye. And she said, why are you crying? And I looked at the mother's vagina that's all stressed out. I said, because it used to be so good. <laughs> Thank you, my